what whether I'm talking about video, audio, um, books, whatever it is, I just as soon as I feel ready, I try different things. I try a little more complex things than the previous ones. And like I said, if I understand a specific resource, awesome. I, I'll go ahead with it. And if I don't, I just, I, I'll try later. You know, whenever, even if you're starting with a teacher or with an, a project in which teachers specifically create videos in a comprehensible way for you to understand. You know, whenever you feel like trying, just go ahead and, and see if you can understand cartoons, like things on your own or, or comic books. I always talk about that. You know, just try it. When, when you've been exposed to the language for some time, whether that's classes or um, online projects, whatever it is, you know, just try, try cartoons, try comic books, try simple things that you think you might be able to understand. And if you can and you enjoy it, awesome, go ahead. And if you don't, just, you know, get back down to just classes or those projects and you'll get there later on. And this works for any level. I always talk about it. Like, if you're on intermediate level and you feel like you could be able to understand a specific type of podcast because they talk about a topic that is super interested in, just give it a try. And if it is if it is comprehensible and you and you enjoy it, and I'm assuming you do at that level, awesome. Just consume as much of their content as you can. You know, listen to all of their episodes. That's that's what I do, right? But if you can't still understand those resources, the main thing I want you to know, once again, is it doesn't mean it's not working for you. It doesn't mean you're not good at languages. It doesn't mean you're not talented. You know, it doesn't mean you're you're done. It just means you didn't get to the point yet. And you just need to get back to something a little bit easier, continue to keep getting better by doing that, and you'll get to that uh, more complex resource later on. Okay. And then getting back to those resources, once I'm, I'm past that sort of beginner stage, I just try things, you know, like whenever I feel like I could be able to understand a more complex and interesting resource, like a documentary, for example, that's a pretty good one for um, the intermediate level, I think. I just try it. I look for intermediate, I mean, I look for documentaries in German, for example, on YouTube, if I feel like I, I, I could understand them. And if I can, awesome. You know, I, I'll just watch all of the all of the documentaries they have on that channel. And if I don't, I just get back to something easier and try again later on. And in that sense, when it comes to documentaries, um, probably the best ones are those in which there's like a narrator that explaining things in a sort of descriptive way, you know, like those animal or nature documentaries that they're just, mm, there's like some footage of, you know, nature or animals or whatever it is. And there's a person narrating um, what's going on. And they tend to speak in a clear way, in a, in a descriptive way. So those are those are more interesting, probably than those with more sort of street action. You know, like those travel documentaries, for example, in which they interview people on the street. Again, just give it a try and see if you can understand them. But it's probably going to be more complicated because there's background noise and there are native speakers. Mm, communicating the way they would in in a normal setting out in the streets, right? So, yeah. And then same thing when it comes to book, to books, sorry. I usually start with comic books, like simple things like that, because, you know, the images are going to help you understand what you're, um, what you're reading for the most part. 
but then you know once my ability to understand gets better and better i just try a little more complex stuff and interesting like young adult books for example like harry potter books or thing you know books like that because they're more interesting well i mean comedy books are interesting to me at least so that's fine but young adult books they're even more interesting i'd say so i just what whether i'm talking about video audio um books whatever it is i just as soon as i feel ready i try different things i try a little more complex things than the previous ones and like i said if i understand a specific resource awesome I, i'll go ahead with it and if i don't i just I, i'll try later thanks so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it and if you did you can join us live every Monday. You know, uh, every Monday I go live um, in a Q and A session. Sometimes in English, sometimes in Spanish. Okay, but any question you have when it comes to the language learning process, feel free to join in and ask me your your questions. And yeah, finally, right here you have the whole Q and A session that we had. So yeah, make sure to check it out if you're if you're curious to to know more about language learning, how the language acquisition actually works and so on. Thanks so much and see you in the next one.